<laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll wear her dress. I got a picture of my first wife here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anybody do motorcycles or sell motor oil to anybody? Jordan does a lot of it. Well, do you do you ever do service work on them or do you get questions about what do I put here and what do I go there with? What kind of bikes? Harleys? Well, according to Harley Davidson, you can use 2050 in all three holes. And I've done that. I've, I think I like the 7590 a little better in the transmission. I changed it the last time to the 2050, and it shifts a little. Seems to shift a little harder, and maybe gets a little hotter. Uh, but I run the 2050 in the primary, and I'm also going to change the primary the next time to the synthetic ATF that we sell. It it runs cooler, and I talked to talked to Dan about it. And when you think about it, the stuff that goes on in an automatic transmission is way worse than anything that ever happened inside of a Harley Davidson primary. The primary is where the clutch and everything is, and I, I need to, I guess, back yeah, up a little, a little bit. Yeah, back up a little on that, Jim. What the what those terms mean? What the primary? Yeah, is the primary is where you have your the chain that connects the crankshaft to the clutch hub. On the on the motorcycle, and then the clutch has got a bunch of discs. They're uh, metal and uh, some type of fabric, I guess, or uh, friction. Friction, yeah, friction plates. Very much like an automatic transmission. Of course, we're pulling the clutch in and relieving and and returning pressure to those things. And the my theory is the the lighter the oil the freer they're going to work and the ATF seems to cool the transmissions in, in the cars and trucks and things a bunch so it's going to have to do that in a motorcycle or anywhere you put it. Uh, How's that going to work when they share all the same oil? They don't. Oh, they the don't. primary oil is... You can use the same oil. You can, that's correct, okay. But, and. Uh, uh, of course, Harley Davidson will tell you you should use their primary case oil and their 2050 in the transmission or whatever it is that they're selling. And it's good stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, they've been, I mean, they've been building these motorcycles since 1903. Uh, but there are better things. The 2050 motorcycle oil will uh, drop uh, the. I've heard the cylinder head temps will drop as much as 50 degrees and the actual oil temps will drop between 10 and 20 degrees and I've, I've got a uh, temperature gauge that screws into my crankcase and I keep up with that since day one. Uh, typically the Harleys will run 235 to 255 uh, depending on outside temperatures. I've uh, two years ago was going up through Georgia on I-75 at 2 in the afternoon and it was so hot that it was unbelievable. My temp gauge was reading 103 on the road and uh, I pulled in and my my oil temp was uh, 260 degrees, 260 or 265, but that's the hottest that it ever got, which is well within spec for the even the Harley-Davidson uh, text will tell you that 300 with conventional oil is acceptable. So if you're using the 2050, that's good. What do you think, Dan? 450, 500 degrees? Well, it'll be in its uh, normal operating band to about 350 degrees, 370 degrees for a 2050. Yeah. And it'll be in its intermittent operating band, meaning that it can go there and come out of it at 450. So. Yeah, and if you get a Harley at 450, something else broke anyway. Something's burning its uh, in your thigh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you can cook on my lap. Yeah. I'm riding a barbecue grill. <laughs> and and I had a new top end put on it and some modifications done and I did, what I did is added 10 more pounds of charcoal. It, uh, that thing is miserable hot sometimes. Uh, and every Harley rider you talk to will complain about heat. 
and it, it doesn't matter who they are or anything else, they're going to complain. They complained about it back when we were riding shovel heads and pan heads and sportsters, all those motorcycles, you're sitting on top of an engine. It's hot. If you sat on top of your Ford motor, it'd be hot. So uh, there's so many different aspects to these things and uh, they're air-cooled motors and I don't see Harley doing anything different in the next few years but there's a tremendous market out there in the motorcycle side for uh, Jim do you think that this uh, should be out there next month the 60 weight and those kinds of 60 weight racing not racing on a motorcycle well but that's going to be affected in the Harley community oh yeah well it will be for the older bikes like the shovel heads and iron head sportsters uh, I'm not Bob you we, we sell 60 weight uh, and 50 uh, at the shop it's mostly the older bikes and the yeah. older riders. The old, well, the old pan heads, knuckles, uh, any anything up to about probably 1988 or no, actually it'd be earlier than that. Yeah. Uh, probably about 82 or 83. They came out with the Evo motor, but anything is. If a guy says he's got a shovel head, he needs 60 weight. Well, and we had that 60 weight racing on, but Anzo decided to actually formulate a 60 weight motorcycle oil, which would have the same superior additive package in it as the 20W50 yeah. in the 60 weight base stock. So that, I think that's going to, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's a good product to have because there has been a demand for it and it'll be something that we well, can offer that's a true motorcycle oil. It's a way to get into the market and the old shovel heads are, a lot of people are building those back. I see a lot of them now on, uh, on the internet and they're asking big money for them. So. Got spends twelve, fifteen thousand dollars for a nineteen sixty five FLH whatever is not gonna balk at spending whatever that stuff's gonna cost to protect the motor and those things were you, you, there was nothing if you had an oil temp an oil pressure gauge on one when you were cruising with, with cold oil, you'd see sixty, sixty five, seventy pounds on them. When they got hot it dropped down to twenty. At an idle the, the gauge just went flat. There was There is no oil pressure. It's pumping something, I guess, but not enough to measure on the gauge, and that's pretty... The clearances have gotten just a little too Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, even the Harley engineers will admit that they didn't know where the oil was going. They really didn't understand. They knew where it was supposed to go and what it was supposed to do, but obviously it wasn't, it wasn't doing those things. Yeah, and the... Uh, and motorcycles in general, now you just described an engine, a primary, and a transmission. Now some bikes are shaft driven and some are still chain driven. What's your experience? Are most of the ones now shaft? Have others mostly gone to that? Or is there still a number of chain driven bikes? Most of the bikes, and again I'm going into the, the V-twin stuff, if it's a BMW it's probably a shaft drive. Uh, and they've actually got gearboxes and different things in there and I, I have nothing to tell you except I'm as ignorant as you can possibly be <laughs> about those things. But this is the uh, the shop manual for a 2008 Harley-Davidson touring bike. Uh, I couldn't tell you what all's in there and I ain't gonna try. But there's a little skinny section if you want to do oil changes on motorcycles on any of them every single one comes with an owner's manual and I can tell you in all sincerity if you don't have an owner's manual don't put a wrench on that motorcycle because there's things in there that you're gonna think from changing oil on your lawnmower or your truck or car well this is the way you do it it's not it's not the case it's, it's really you're sticking your neck out and I'll guarantee you, you're going to get something cut off. What's the normal capacities? What, what's in the primary typically? Oh, uh, jeez. What is it, Bob? A quart on the newer ones? One, one, and four on the, on the big engines. It's, it's about the... Yeah. It's, it's, it's roughly a quart in the primary, a quart in the transmission, and four quarts on the motor on the, on the big twins, the touring bikes. Now the, the transmissions on these, obviously, uh, different size bikes, are they all four-speed transmissions? Do they have some that are more, like five or six speed? I don't think we have four speed. The, 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 the newer bikes most are... Most of the newer bikes, the big ones that, that sell most, we sell mostly, they're all six speed. Six speed. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they're uh, and have been for several years. Years. quite a while. Yeah, I think 07 they came out with 07, a 6B. The Dinos and the 05 and uh, that's true. Yeah, and, and the uh, rest of the lineup in the big big block uh, was 07. I delivered oil to a guy up in uh, the villages that had one of these uh, big Honda Goldwing trikes. Yeah. I thought he might as well put an enclosure on it. Call the thing a three wheel car. Hey. That was a monster. It's huge. That's yeah. probably 15, 1800 pounds. 1800 uh, cc engine. Yeah. Oh, they're rockets. Yeah, and the thing was just, I looked at it and I thought, my God, this thing must weigh 2,500, 3,000 pounds. It, it they're, they're really Had heavy. Trailer hitch on the back of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can tow your house with it if you want to. <laughs> that's well, that thing. Think about it. Volkswagen's had 1,300 cc. Yeah, so that's size. Uh, yeah, if you I put. I was thinking he'd get that like a Jeep enclosure where you have the canvas thing and rack around, put it around, and drive in a three wheel car. Well, <laughs> why don't you just get a smart car? That, that's true. Except oh. I think the motorcycle was safer than a smart car. That smart car looks like a yeah. golf car. <laughs> You're trapped in that thing. Somebody sent me an email where a smart car had got in between two big trucks that had been in an accident and the smart car was like that thick. I mean, it, it, obviously the people inside were mush, but uh, <laughs> the motorcycle, you got a chance of getting thrown out of the way or up in the air or something, you know, where that poor guy in the car just didn't have a chance. Different ship qualities and different weights and transmission. 